Hello students! In the previous video, we discussed about the verb tenses. The simple tenses are the present tense, past tense, and future tense. Today, we will discuss about the compound tenses. The compound tenses give more specific information about when the action occurred, started, or completed. They always require auxiliary verbs in addition to the action verbs. The compound tenses include the present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and future perfect tense. Let us discuss the present perfect tense. To form the present perfect tense, we use the auxiliary verbs has or have plus the past participle form of the verb. Has is used if the subject is singular, while have is used if the subject is plural. The present perfect tense is used to express an action that began in the past and continues to the present. For example, Dan has called every day this week. In this sentence, the verb in the present perfect tense is has called. We use the auxiliary verb has because the subject done is singular. Another example, we have worked over an hour for one math problem. In this sentence, the complete verb in the present perfect tense is have worked. The auxiliary verb have is used because the subject, which is the word we, is in plural form. Now we go to the past perfect tense. To form the past perfect tense, we use the auxiliary verb had plus the past participle form of the verb. Had is used whether the subject is in singular or plural form. Past perfect tense is used to express an action that was completed before another past action. For example, you had completed your statement before Alexander entered. The verb in the past perfect tense is had completed. The verb had completed is the action that took place before the another past action which is entered. These numbers show the order of the actions that happened in this timeline. Another example, the Spaniards had settled in Mexico before the war was declared. In this sentence, the verb in the past perfect tense is had settled. Had settled is the action that took place before the another past action which is was declared. And these numbers show the order of the actions that took place. Let us now discuss the future perfect tense. To form the future perfect tense, we use will have or shall have plus the past participle form of the verb. Future perfect tense is used to express an action that will happen before another future action. For example, we will have cooked the rice before the visitors come. In this sentence, the verb in future perfect tense is will have cooked. The verb will have cooked is the action that will happen before the another action which is come. Another example. Dan will have called before Riza arrives. In this sentence, the verb in the future perfect tense is will have called. Will have called 
is the action that will first happen before the another action which is arrives. Remember, if the another action is in the present tense, we will use the future perfect tense. But, if the another action is in the past tense, we will use the past perfect tense. Let us now answer this activity. Underline the verb in the sentences. Then, on the blanks, write PRP for present perfect tense, PSP for past perfect tense, or FP for future perfect tense. Number 1. The film house has not developed the pictures yet. Answer has developed present perfect tense number two fred will have left before erin's arrival answer will have left future perfect tense number three florence has been a very gracious actress Answer, has been. Present perfect tense. Number four, Andy had lost her wallet by the end of the bus ride. Answer, had lost. Past perfect tense. Number five, before the discovery of the buried chest, Joey had not believed in buried treasure. Answer, had believed. Past perfect tense. Number six. By tonight, I will have finished my assignment. Answer, will have finished. Future perfect tense. Number seven. The snow plows had cleared our street before the really heavy snowstorm. Answer, had cleared. Past perfect tense. Complete each sentence by writing the correct form of the verb. Number one. Answer, had finished. We had finished our game before the meteor started theirs. Number two. Answer. Will have graduated. Margie will have graduated before the spring semester. Number three. Answer, have exercised. We have exercised three times this week. Number four. Answer, we'll have cleaned. I will have cleaned the whole kitchen by the time mom returns. Number five. Answer, has visited. Angelica frequently has visited to help. 